In this GIMP tutorial, we're going to be talking about transparency and how it's useful to you when you're creating different images. Uh, so transparency is when part of your image is invisible. Now this can be an entire layer. Um, it can also be part of a layer and it can also be elements within that layer. It, it really depends on how you're doing things. For instance, you could tone down the opacity on a brush and then whatever brush strokes you make are partially see-through. Or we can take a layer uh, with the layers window, knock it down to 0% opacity, and then it would be completely invisible, which is effectively the same as clicking on the eyeball and making it invisible altogether. Now, normally, if you want to add in a layer that's transparent so that you can start drawing on it, uh, you can click on the new layers button. And you'll notice that layer fill type defaults to transparency. So we just hit OK here and we're good to go. Now, let's say, uh, and this would be a common case, you actually want your background to be completely transparent. Just get rid of the default white background. You can disable its visibility by clicking on the eyeball, or you can right click and delete the layer. Up to you how you want to do it. Now, with our currently transparent layer, everything in it is transparent there's really no data here but if I start drawing with the brush stroke or the pencil tool then we can have an image where part of it is visible because it actually has content there and then the rest of it is just transparent nothingness now this becomes really useful when you want an image to not look like a square all images are actually square when they're on the computer um, but if you save it as a PNG image, the only thing you're going to see are these lines. So it gives the illusion that the image isn't a square, when in reality, uh, it is in fact a square. There's just only data showing for these white lines. So let's go ahead and export this and I'll show you what I mean. So transparency, I'll just save this on the desktop. Defaults are fine. And I'll open this up in the uh, photos tool for Windows 10. Now, here, there's a transparent background inside of GIMP itself. And you can also see it's transparent inside of uh, the icon preview window. But the background of the photos tool defaults to black. So what happens with transparency is, yes, this image is showing 100% of it, even the fact that it's a square. But because everything is transparent surrounding these white lines, that means that whatever is behind it is actually going to show, uh, basically covering up the transparent areas. So you won't get a checkerboard background. You get the background of whatever happens to be behind your image and the areas that are transparent. Now, one more thing I should point out is that it doesn't have to be fully transparent. You can take one of your layers or it doesn't have to be fully transparent or not transparent at all. You can take your layers and actually tone down the opacity. So if I set this to, say, 50%, then only 50% of this white line is really going to show. The other half gets replaced by whatever's in the background. So it kind of gives the illusion that there's glass or something similar to that there. Let's go ahead and export it again, and you'll be able to see more of what I mean. So export it, reopen the tool, and even though these lines are technically white, because they're half transparent, half of the black color behind it shows up in uh, these white lines instead. So that's one thing that you can do with transparency. You can have part of the background showing in the areas you want to show, or you can have 100% of whatever's behind it show. This becomes really useful in web design and that kind of thing, but that's going to be it for this tutorial. So uh, tune in for the next one, and we'll be going into other tricks and tips you can do within GIMP.